Howdy, Kanaji here. If you're wondering how I managed to improve what many consider to be an already perfect outfit, I have one word for you. Polestar. You see, my new favorite cape is only available as a reward for completing part of No Man's Sky's Expedition 8, Polestar. So I've seen a lot of people on the fence about trying this expedition. There are people who don't enjoy expeditions, people who, you know, don't like starting the game over, who aren't interested in the rewards, but I think it's an interesting enough expedition that I decided to put together my five reasons that I think you should try the Pole Star Expedition. Because while it isn't the best expedition they've ever released, I do think that it's an interesting one, and I think you'll see why. Now, before I begin, I want to let you know that this list will be spoiler free. So if you're looking for a spoiler filled review or my unfiltered thoughts, worry not, a special video containing those will be coming soon. So if you'd like to see me praise some expeditions and maybe rip into others, subscribe today. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the actual list with reason number five, the intro sequence. Now, I don't want to spoil this sequence by showing it here, but let's just say for the first time in nearly six years, you won't be starting this adventure on a planet next to a crashed ship. And that's because in this expedition, you're taking on the role of a freighter captain with your own interesting backstory to discover. And even if you couldn't care less about completing the expedition, I do recommend that every player at least play through the, like the first five minutes or so, just for the novelty of it. Now, before you come back to my comment section disappointed, no, it's not some fully acted cutscene starring Mark Hamill or anything, but it is unique among all other expeditions. And hey, this is five reasons you should try the expedition, not necessarily beat it. But if after that you do find yourself intrigued, you may be happy to hear about reason number four, its short runtime. While the expedition is only available to play and complete for another few weeks, you'll probably only need a couple of days to actually beat it, at least I did. And that's because this expedition's runtime is roughly four to six hours, depending on your familiarity with the game. Although RNG might push it a little further, but the objectives are pretty straightforward for the most part, casually guiding you along a path of steady progression. One thing to note though, while it may only take a handful of game hours to complete, you probably won't be able to complete it in one sitting. You see, one of the milestones requires you to complete eight frigate expeditions. These run automatically in the background in real time and can range from five to 25 or even more hours. So this will likely delay your completion by a day or two. So if you do wanna actually beat this, be sure not to wait until the last day to start. Other than that, it's smooth sailing for reason number three, the expedition rewards themselves. Now, of course I had to include this on the list as with every expedition, you'll receive a bevy of exclusive rewards upon completion of various phases. This expedition includes what seems to be a pretty standard offering these days. You have the obligatory player banner, title, and decal. And then you have the three exclusive posters, which, if we're being honest, n no one's playing Polestar for these, I'm sorry. But more enticing though, especially for builders, are three new building parts. This double display, this rolled up chart, and this flaming barrel. All of which are pretty sweet but I pity any builder who misses out on the flaming barrel, especially. Now, yes, I will admit I'm encouraging FOMO a little bit in this case, but I mean, look at that thing, that's pretty cool. If building's not your style though, the Child of Helios companion is pretty cool too, but I'm personally more excited for the high gravity freighter trail, currently the coolest freighter trail available in the game. And that's coming from a guy who usually prefers green, but as cool as all this stuff is, I know what you really want. Yes. That's right, the fleet commander's cape. A cape fit for a commander of a fleet. My God, it's beautiful. But in all seriousness, there is a chance that you actually think all this stuff is crap and you're not playing for those rewards anyways. You're looking for a unique gameplay experience. Something new in No Man's Sky, something different. Well, would you look at that? Reason number two is the unique gameplay perspective. No Man's Sky is a space game, right? Sure. Well, it's a space exploration game and a sci-fi survival game, but let's be honest. We spend most of our time on planet surfaces because that's where the action is, the meat of the gameplay. Well, in perhaps the greatest plot twist of all time, no spoilers, I found myself spending the majority of this expedition in space. 
doing space stuff. And that's because the expedition all but disables planetary base building and starship hyperdrives. Although, you could get around it if you wanted to, but I don't encourage it. But that means you'll be warping in your freighter, building your home in your freighter, stashing lingual goods in your freighter, ultimately building up your fleet from your freighter. And this expedition is really light on survival mechanics too, instead focusing on exploration and discovery to progress. It makes for a seriously simple adventure. <laughs> Easy enough that I didn't even install a weapon on my multi-tool, like at all. And that's a dizzying contrast to the last expedition, which was not only a permadeath experience, but also a carefully curated series of traps and ambushes designed specifically to erase all of your progress at the drop of a hat. So last expedition saw me installing like three hazmat suits just to step out of my ship, but I didn't even bother installing hazard protection this time. So, players craving challenge may find this expedition a bit boring, but if you're looking for a chill exploration experience with satisfying progression and an interesting enough story, I'd wager it's worth your time to check out. Again, even if you don't complete it, just to see what an alternate version of the game could be. Now, I know I said you don't have to complete it, but, uh, be a shame though if you don't. Real shame. Since reason number one is actually the ending itself. <laughs> now don't worry, again, not gonna spoil anything here. I'll have another video with full spoilers. For now, let me just say you'll be able to do something with the freighter that was never possible before now. No, not that. I wish, but ew, no, and not that either. Let's just say it's an epic way to conclude an expedition which began just as uniquely. Now, unfortunately for the life of me, I haven't found a way to unlock this upgrade outside of the expedition. So I'm hoping they eventually make it available in the normal game, since it could unlock a new style of exploration for players. And before you get too hyped and then disappointed, no you can't drive your freighter around like a tugboat. I know you want to, but no. Not this time anyways. Still, I think the new tech is pretty nifty. And if you're the type to get excited by the smallest additions, like I am, then you'll probably find it pretty neat too. But hey, all of this is just one guy's opinion. I could very well be overselling this expedition since I'm a huge fanboy. But then again, I thought the exobiology expedition kind of sucked, so maybe I'm being honest. Only one way to know for sure, you just gotta try it yourself. Seriously though, I enjoyed the laid back pace of this expedition, especially compared to Leviathan. And the gameplay shifting focus from survival mechanics to freighter and fleet building was a nice shake up to the usual. And while I might personally rate Leviathan Expedition a little bit higher than this one, I find this expedition much easier to recommend to more people, for obvious reasons. But hey, if you disagree with me, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I know I love the last expedition, but a pretty fair portion of you definitely disagreed. So I welcome your takes and opinions once again. And whether you agree with me or not, thanks for giving this video a watch. If you found this video helpful or would simply like to support my efforts as an aspiring content creator. Leaving a like takes only a couple of seconds. Leaving a dislike on the other hand, I've heard it's a very lengthy process so I don't recommend that. If you're interested in my upcoming video where I rank this expedition against all the past ones, feel free to subscribe. I certainly wouldn't mind. I put out new No Man's Sky videos every week, usually exploring niche topics although last week <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if that sounds interesting, you know what to do. Thanks again for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!